6-3-7. It's sort of a last hurrah for us. We didn't think we'd ever be back at this point in our lives. I'm 93. Bill was the youngest man in our squadron, and he's 92, right, Bill? 90. 90? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, you're still a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Julian Bud Rice and William Prendable were both pilots for the 37th Troop Carrier Squadron on that historical day on June 6, 1944. Well, it was a, we were all 18, 19, 20 years old. And we, we spent nearly two years getting ready for this thing. It was a very important part of our lives. And uh, you just don't wipe that out of your, your being or your memory. Or, and you don't want to either. So. It, it is an important day to us and always will be. It's an important day for many service members, especially those who can claim a part of that legacy. They, they make no big deal of, you know, they got an air medal over Normandy, over Market Garden and Varsity. And any flyer, anybody will tell you getting an air medal these days, you fly your 10 missions, you do your things. But, but what they did is so much greater and it's just sort of humbling to, humbling to, to realize that. And so uh, again, anytime you get the chance to talk to a vet, it almost chokes you up. It really will. And I think as a military member, it should. These two pilots have a strong effect on blue tails, old and new. But humbling still is their message. You know, I might add that uh, Bill and I don't like to refer to as heroes. We were two of the lucky guys who was there, and we managed to survive. It was about 114 of our group that didn't survive, didn't get back like we did, and we think about them as the heroes. Powerful words from men who seem to have flown right from the history books. And it's one thing to read it uh, in a Wikipedia article about your squadron unit, what we did, kind of we, what, what happened. It's another thing to see that theory and those words actually put into practice. It's kind of these melding of, of really two different eras across 70 year time span. And so it's, it's, it's hard to describe because in those, those older gentlemen, I, I see my young guys, they're the same way. The technology that's available now in these C-130s, they fly by themselves. So maybe we ought to think about <laughs> signing up for another hitch. <laughs> These men may not prefer to be called heroes, but there is no doubt that their example echoes with the airmen of today. Senior Airman Nicholas Crisp, Ramstein Air Base, Germany.